Morning, morning guys, morning guys. It's another day on site and we've been graced on the lands with the presence of the beautiful Karina Se. She works with the British High Commission and she's very passionate about connecting with the Ghanaian diasporan community. Uh, Karina. Yeah. Thank you for making time to come oh, to no, the, the site pleasure today. Has, the pleasure has been all mine. Yes. It's been an amazing morning. Yes, 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 yes. And we, we have, we have uh, you know, quite, quite good weather today with the Hamatan setting in. A little bit cooler, but still cooler. very hot. <laughs> but you know it, you know it, you know it. We can't escape the sun. Anyways, anyways. So, uh, I want to ask you, how did you find out about Asasi? So, um, I've been living in Ghana now for 18 months. Um, I actually found out about Asasi Real Estates before I came to Ghana, maybe about two and a half years ago. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Obviously, I met Kwabna, um, looking into it, researched it. Um, I even sent my father while I was in the UK mm -hmm. to come and have a look when the, the first few estate communities were being built, um, set out. Um, but I knew that I wanted to live in Ghana. Okay. So at that point, it wasn't a good idea for me. But now I've been living in Ghana for 18 months. I'm ready to lay down roots and ready to get out of Accra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Accra is getting very congested at this point. Um, so you, you do believe Pram Pram is the future? I re believe Pram Pram is the future. I mean, the roads are coming. Yes, yes, yes. it's very it's taking a very long time. Um, but things are moving in Ghana very, very fast. Um, I feel that Accra, Greater Accra, is just very much overpopulated. Um, yes, that's where you work and everything. But for me, I'm originally a Tema girl. So Tema. I was raised, raised in Tema. <laughs> so I like the quietness. I like the community feel. And I feel like this vision, this Asari real estate is going to be the one. Awesome. I'm awesome. going to be able to connect as a diaspora living in Ghana. It's very important to have um, other diasporas around you because yes. they are the only ones that understand mm -hmm. the changes that you're going to have to go through to settle here. 100%. Uh, uh, I'm always glad to have like minded individuals to make up the community is more than just providing land. Oh, for sure. This is not, um, I've realized this is not, and for researching um, the vision and the Sari's real estate and everything, it's not, I'm not buying into land. You can go anywhere and buy land. It's about trust. 100%. In Ghana, as a diaspora, I'm half Ghanaian. I schooled here, but I'm still not Ghanaian. So having, buying into something that there's a UK feel about it. Yes. There's other internationals I know are going to be living around me that, that understand processes and concepts of what a community should feel like. I feel that that's all going to lend itself well. Um, yeah, I just reckon that this is the perfect opportunity for anybody living in Europe, living in the United States, the Caribbean, who want to come back to Africa and come to Ghana and lay some roots and create generational wealth for their children's children's children this is the i think the perfect opportunity i think at this point that's what uh, you know everyone is doing it for for the future and we like to think of it in future tense and uh, i'm very happy that you had the vision you know to to be able to align yourself to this whole idea it's I mean, an idea that you're buying into I mean, what I really loved about um, Kwabna is he doesn't just sell to any and anyone. He sells his vision. And if you're not really into his vision, then that's fine. But he will carry on with his vision. 100%. And also in this economic climate in the UK is really hard in Europe, in America, everywhere. Ghana's really hard at the moment. But having that understanding and you're able to pay off and have a payment plan yes. as well is even lends itself even better 100% uh, it's 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 a it's a beautiful deal 24 month zero interest yeah. you ask exactly. me exactly i think that you, alone stands you're not going to find that here in ghana anywhere stands out and pram pram is kind of untouched 
and you still feel when you come here you feel like you are in Africa whereas in Accra you could really be <laughs> anywhere yeah. do you understand yeah. what I mean yeah. it's yeah. so overpopulated yeah. the nightlife the club it's great but when you're living here you will get over that mm -hmm. you will become tired of that you'll become tired of the traffic you'll yeah. become tired of living on top of people and living in close proximities to people yeah. as I say to you I really feel that Pram Pram is dead definitely going to be the the focus point in the future i know that there's an airport coming soon yeah. near here and you know so plans for that hundred hundred percent hundred percent you've been 18 months in the motherland yes and today i was you know you know while seth was taking you around and while we we're showing you around five of our communities i realized that you were you were just you know just absorbing nature you were taking that in and i could tell that you you really had a, a good time out of the five communities uh, what was your favorite to be honest with you i enjoyed them all all of them <laughs> all of them okay. obviously i liked the ark but um the, the estate that i've chosen amamre amamre okay definitely um i feel like that's going to be a very very vibrant place yeah. especially with the commercial opportunities yeah shops and things coming i mean that's what i'm saying like he's thought of everything you know shops farming you name it you know there's you know i know there's people that are thinking about buying land here who want to do a gym i personally like to do a bar one day so yeah sounds i feel good. like sounds <laughs> good. Sounds good. i mean it's all about you know future projections you know it's not about the now and uh i'm happy that you think this way Okay, okay, okay. I mean, and it's not that I know quite a few people who have bought land. Yes. Um, so I won't be just living on my own. 100%. I just want to make sure that everyone knows, like, this is an international community, yes. definitely. And there's, there's a chance to obviously live in Ghana and experience Ghana, but also have your home comforts. 100%. And I miss them all the time. Yeah. And so to be able to um, buy into a community that I know will also want those comforts as well mm -hmm. also makes me even more hasty to buy yeah. into it. <laughs> because your future neighbours, um, like I said, very important, very important, like minded individuals. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's all good for us. You know, it's all good for all of us. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I will that's say awesome. it's gone really fast. I mean, the two years ago, the plots that I was seeing in the communities, they're all sold out. Yeah. So anyone like <laughs> thinking of doing it like I did and was like dragging your feet a little bit, don't drag your feet because I now realize I should have done this like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not too late still. It's oh, no, don't get still. me wrong. It's not too yeah. late. But yeah, yeah. as I say, sometimes you can think too much on things. And yes. you do hear a lot of hor horror stories about land buying in Ghana. But as someone who lives in Ghana, from the UK, I can honestly say this is the safest probably investment you'll probably make in Ghana. 100%, 100%. We operate on transparency. And, you know, we've taken up several projects all to make our clients and mm -hmm. future clients uh, feel very comfortable mm -hmm. and let them know without talking too much. We show them that they can trust us. Mm -hmm. We take upon all the wahala that comes with you know, purchasing land. Mm -hmm. In fact, not even purchasing, acquiring land. And it's a night. It's a it's yeah. a minefield, and yeah. it's like he's gone ahead and done all of that before yeah. it's even got to our stage. So it's even safer. Awesome, awesome. Do you think that without Seth and I here to take you around, do you think that once there has been a plot purchased, you can find it on your own? Um, no, at this point. But there are certain landmarks, yes. like the container and stuff, and the okay. roads. You can see the roads are very well mapped out. Okay. What I really loved about this development is it's all posted. You know what's your land. It's all clearly yes. marked out. With the name plates on So there's it, going to the be numbers. no arguing. Have you gone over? Have you, you yes. know, it's all really well done and really well thought out. Yes, yes, yes. With the layout and all and even uh, we have the coordinates set up at this point you could even take an uber straight to your place oh, at this point yes yes, yes. So, and you've got all the coordinates for an yes. uber and all of that yes. the water's coming the electricity's coming 100%. and as i say to you i just reckon 
even less than 10 years, this whole place is going to be a lot more developed. And it's going to be great to see. Um, Ghana, Accra is very overdeveloped. You're really going to struggle to like find land that you can trust and buy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and actually feel like you've got space and you've got fresh air. Yes. <laughs> You're not yes, going to find yes, it. Yes, so yes, yeah, yes, anyone yes, thinking yes, about doing yes, it, um, do it. But also try and come and actually see it as well because looking at it online, but when you actually come, I don't know, I felt an energy. I'm Ghanaian. I know that my ancestral line is here, but to actually be on the land itself, it draws you in. That's the next thing I was going to ask you, that you've definitely seen pictures online, you've seen the layouts and all, but would you say that does it justice? It's better to be here to see it for yourself. It's better, 100% yes? yeah. it's better to be yeah. here for itself. Yeah. But yeah, I knew what I was expecting when I came, mm -hmm. but yeah. I wasn't expecting how vast how vast it yeah. was and yeah. also the feeling yes, yes. I, it, nothing i don't know how to describe it and i'm sure <laughs> it will come to me in a while but as i say i felt at home i felt like i need to be here 100 percent. the land called you yes because I, I realized the first few whatever we were checking uh, i realized you were being called to it yes the land is spiritual before you think you are choosing, it has chosen you yes. before then. So it's 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 all good. It's a beautiful process, and uh, I think there are no coincidences. No. Yes, everything is happening at the right time, the For right sure. place, and uh, God bless us all. God bless us all. And definitely come yeah. and do it. As a, even as a day out, the whole experience, the whole coming through Pram Pram, the whole seeing the land, coming to here. And seeing the ancestral wall, yes. the whole vibe, the food, is, the food was awesome. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know you definitely enjoyed your food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The food was yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, as I say, for anyone, I just come into Ghana, come and check it out for yourself. Because as I say to you, since I've even just come in, I've like messaged my mom, my brother, <laughs> my sister, my aunt. I feel like everyone needs to be like come here yeah, and to feel themselves. the place. Yes, for themselves. Karina, it's been a pleasure having you come. And thank you for having last. me. You're thank welcome. you. Welcome. You're welcome. We hope to see you again. The soon. hospitality has been great. 100%, thank you. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. You're welcome. Take okay. care.